Okay, here we are uh, on the side of my house over by where the power meter is. This is day number three of uh, Hurricane Ida and no electricity. So today I'm going to show you a little bit about how I have my generators uh, set up and hooked up over here by my power meter so we can look at that first. Uh, we'll move around to where the generators are. I'll show you how I've got them hooked up. As we go by, you'll notice I've got them running on either natural gas or propane. So I've got uh, two different videos for those generators that uh, show how that is done. So I'll link those at the end. So uh, take a look at those. You can see how I connected and built those. There is uh, links for all the parts uh, to do that conversion in those videos. Uh, so check those out and uh, like and subscribe. I'm trying to build a little channel here and uh, we always appreciate that. So again, this is just the, uh, the west side of my house back here in the bushes where it's all uh, uh, jungly. I do that just to block it from the sun, uh, the afternoon sun. So it keeps things a little cool. So we'll look at the power meter and we'll see what we've got going. All right, here is my power meter. And then this is my main uh, breaker panel where the, the main breakers are, or maybe would be, a little bit different than maybe all systems are designed at. But I do not have a single main breaker. I do not have a single breaker to disconnect me from the grid. And that's what you must do if you're gonna backfeed your uh, generators into your house electrical. So if we look here, I've got um, breakers for my furnace, my air conditioner, my oven, a sub panel and a cooktop. So my cooktop in the kitchen and my oven are both electric. So in other words, this is the breakers for the uh, all the large power items. My sub panel being everything else in the house, all the lights and switches and all those things in the house. And then again, the big uh, 240 volt systems um, in the house. So it requires five breakers for me to disconnect from uh, service and disconnect completely from the electrical grid which again you must do to run uh, run the uh, back feed into your system otherwise you're gonna shock uh, electrical workers and there's gonna be a whole lot of bad things happen when the power does finally come on so I'm going to feed into my sub panel again my sub panel is off and uh, my sub panel is inside and so we're gonna go inside next, or actually we'll, we'll pick a pass through my uh, generator setups outside and then follow the uh, power line inside and uh, show how we uh, back feed into that sub panel. It would be amazing if you can hear this, but this is my Ida setup. Uh, I got my uh, big ugly generator. It is running on uh, natural gas back here of uh, natural gas on that wall. I've uh, got my little small uh, generator. I've got it set up to run off the uh, barbecue tank. Um, I use that as a uh, to give a spell to my big one every uh, now and then. Uh, right now my tank is running my uh, Blackstone, uh, which uh, we've got some green beans going for dinner. And then over here on the uh, big grill, we got the uh, chicken going for dinner. So there we are. It is Ida. The Ida. I don't know where I'm going to go when the hurricane to blow. Okay, you saw my fuel connections. This is my electrical connection from the big generator. I just got it sneaking under the window. That small uh, yellow wire is coming from my little Honda. My little Honda I just been using to run the refrigerator overnight. Uh, and then the big generator is running the whole rest of the house, including the refrigerator, for the uh, for the rest of the day. So let's follow uh, that big wire. We see it goes under the window, and we're going to head inside. And runs across the living room into the laundry room and see my ugly washer and dryers that are 20 years old but then it comes back here and it plugs into where the dryer would normally plug into so that's where my big generator is feeding is into the dryer plug okay here's my electrical panel just on the other side of the laundry room from where that dryer plug was 
Um, it is uh, got all the other circuits in the house, um, everything there except for those big five that we just looked out outside. But the uh, the fantastic thing is, is this 30 amp uh, breaker, 240 breaker, is my dryer plug. So that is still inside. So that is the reason I can back feed my dryer plug uh, with uh, electricity from the generator and then power this panel. So again, this panel is completely disconnected from the grid outside. That uh, uh, panel breaker is off. And if I have uh, these breakers on and that dryer breaker on with that generator plugged into the dryer port, or dryer plug it is back feeding this panel so that means everything in this panel I can operate in the house now I don't know about the same time never actually tried that but if we're in the living room we got the lights and fans on if we're in the bedroom we got the lights and fans on in the bathroom you turn on the lights and fans so everything works and the other beauty of uh, everything being powered without having to have four or five extension cords for just four or five things is that my uh, internet and TV also work. So I've got underground fiber optics. My uh, cable company feeds us with underground fiber optics. Multiple hurricanes, my TV and internet have never gone out. So as long as I can power those devices, um, I've got TV and internet. So with this system, all the breakers on, um, all those devices are powered. So the TVs are powered, the cable boxes are powered, the router, modems, everything is powered. So I've got all those services. The only thing I don't have is just AC, and it is hot, hot, hot. That, but that is how I do it. Uh, again, uh, you need to be very careful and understand what you're doing. Uh, don't copy me, because your system may be different. Don't do dumb, do smart.